everyone, this is Zach, just a guy from Indiana, coming at you for episode 119, All Things Boxing. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button, feel free to share this video, and remember, we've got you covered on everything revolved around the top 10 pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world and your mega fights. We are on part five, a professional boxer's story featuring... Naoa Inoue. Now, if you haven't seen the first four, definitely check them out because Inoue is currently ESPN's number three pound for pound best boxer in the world. He is only behind Terrence Crawford and Alexander Usyk. So, on this channel, we are presenting to you and breaking down as to why he is so darn good and why he hits that number three spot definitely could move up to number one in years to come. So where we stopped yesterday was the end of a huge year of 2018. And it was October of 2018 when Inoue gets a knockout win over Juan Carlos Payano. And that becomes Ring Magazine's KO of the Year. So here we go now, still in the bantamweight division, to 2019. He takes on a fight in May against Emmanuel Rodriguez, who at the time was 19-0 and with 12 knockouts. It was a very close round one, but in round two, Inoue drops Rodriguez three different times and the ref calls the fight. So pretty easy victory. But then we get into November 2019. This is another huge part of Naoa Inoue's career. So he participated throughout the years in what's called the World Boxing Super Series. And this is a pro boxing tournament. And what it is, is an annual knockout competition with the champion from each weight class taking home both the Muhammad Ali Trophy and sharing a total prize fund of around $50 million, with the winner of each separate tournament receiving $10 million. So there was usually about five different weight classes. And this is important, number one, because a new way is getting a taste of moving up to super bantamweight. Because the opponent he is facing in the championship of this series was named Nonito Donaire. Now, Donaire was 40 wins, 5 losses, and had 26 knockouts. Now, this was a thrilling fight. This is by far Inoue's closest fight. And at the end of it, Inoue wins by unanimous decision. But the two of them show mutual respect. Inoue gets presented the Muhammad Ali Trophy and later reveals to the public that he had a broken nose and in the second round, he had a fractured orbital bone which prevented him from seeing the remainder of the fight at full 100%. This fight was later named the Ring Magazine Fight of the Year. So two takeaways from this individual fight. The first thing is that Donaire almost ended Inoue in this fight. But Inoue fought through a fractured orbital bone. The second thing, Inoue gets Donaire with a liver shot in the 11th round. And it's almost called by the referee. But he gets up in time, shakes it off in enough spirit to finish the fight. This is so important because when we think of fighters that are currently in the top 10 pound for pound, especially the ones we've covered so far in this channel, they all bring to the table something different. We started with Gervonta Davis, which is really a fighter who brings swag back to the game of boxing. All eyes are always on Gervonta Davis. You have Shakur Stevenson, whether you like him or dislike him, who is mimicking the Floyd Mayweather style of fighting. 
You got Terrence Crawford, who is the definition of boxing IQ. And a lot of coaches use Terrence Crawford as to how they teach their students to fight properly. And then you have someone like Naoa Inoue, who is just a complete badass. He always goes out there looking for a knockout. He hates going to decision. And he wins while fighting through severe injuries. So that's how I would define all the fighters we've talked about to this point. So 2019, the end of it, another huge part of the Naoa Inoue story. And that is where we end today. So as we go into 2020, which is the COVID year, Inoue is currently 19-0. So as always, thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. We'll be back tomorrow with part six, which will also be episode 120. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, have a great day. We'll talk tomorrow.